Hello there and welcome to this video. In this session I'm going to provide an overview of the port function in Bloomberg. To access this function go to the command line and type in P-O-R-T port and press enter. Firstly to set up this function you need to have a portfolio selected. Well depending on which tab you're on it tends to be the amber drop down box to the left of the screen. On here you can select from the drop down box and your portfolio should be listed here. If it's not click on more sources and then within the portfolio menu it should be listed. And this way you can select another portfolio and press enter or select. Whenever it says versus this is where you can compare your portfolio with a benchmark. Again, follow the process. If it's a indices there, you can select it. If not, click on more sources and you can search for it. The beauty of this function is you can search for comparisons with ETFs as well as indices and you can compare a portfolio versus another portfolio of your own. The next drop down box says how do you want the data to be displayed? Do you want it? categorized by sector, country, if it's a multinational portfolio, by industry, and so on. And again, you can change the currency if you'd like here. So this first window is what's known as intraday. So this will provide you intraday performance data along this bottom. It's not providing any at the moment because my portfolio, the market is shut. The next tab is the holdings tab. This displays your portfolio in isolation and shows where most of the equities in this case are from. The better view is the allocation mini tab and this provides a good pictorial diagram per sector and shows you your top holdings per weighting. The characteristics tab is useful to see a snapshot of some of the characteristics of your portfolio. And for this, I'll show you without any sectors, so you can compare individual stocks, their dividend yield, their PA ratio, and so on. Here, you can edit. So if you hover over any of the columns and right click, you'll get the add or remove option. If you click that, you'll get another window that appears. And then over here, just search for the characteristic you want. Whenever you've completed this list, you can even edit how these characteristics are calculated. For instance, beta. Bloomberg default the beta calculation to two years using weekly data, comparing it with the index that equity is from. If you don't want that, and you want to calculate beta using daily data, click on the pencil and you can change this. Once you're happy, press save and run. If this appears and it doesn't allow you to do any editing, this is because you may be on the default equity window view from Bloomberg. You can change it to my view. And to do that, you go on the views button here and go create current, create a view. Just copy the current view, but then change the name and then you can go back and edit as I've just shown you. So a few more mini tabs here that displays data differently. The cash flow mini tab shows you when you receive dividends. If it's a fixed income portfolio, it will show you bond principal and interest coupons. Liquidity risk refers to the likelihood of you not being able to sell equities to remove them from your portfolio and potentially suggests which security faces the most liquid liquidity risk. The key rates tab really refers to a fixed income portfolio. The next main tab is tracking error. Now tracking error is an ex ante forecast of risk. The best tab for this is the summary tab. On here you can choose to see the ex ante risk over what time horizon. It typically defaults to one year but obviously the further you are out the more inaccurate the model will be. 
Over here, you can choose which model you'd like Bloomberg to apply. You'd only really change this if your portfolio wasn't global. In my case, this is actually a European portfolio, so I'm best off using that model. To understand the methodology behind these models, in the help function, you can read the white papers to see the technicalities or the slight differences in these models. This view is set up with standard deviation being the top panel and contribution from portfolio in the bottom panel. Things mainly to note here in the first summary is factor risk is a term for market risk and non-factor refers to idiosyncratic risk. If you have a diverse portfolio, the idea is you want to minimise the non-factor risk as much as possible. These other tabs just show you a breakdown more granularly and it potentially suggests which of your equity trades are more risky than others. And this can help you analyse the forecasted risk. The value at risk tab shows you a comparison of the expected value at risk at certain confidence levels over different horizons. In this case, it's over one day. This comparison tab shows you how much you may potentially stand to lose in the value at risk scenario for 95%, 97.5 and 99% and it compares the three main models being Monte Carlo, historical simulation and parametric. The scenarios tab is really a little bit of fun. All it does is has a list of historical simulations and would potentially show how much your portfolio as a whole or each stock would lose if that scenario was to happen again. The performance tab is the one that most people are interested in. The main view is useful to see the like year to date return or total return per stock but majority of people will use the total return tab and this provides the total return in a chart, whether that be percentage or value. Any amber field can be edited, so if you want to look at how successful this portfolio is over the full time horizon, you can click maximum. So overall, my portfolio has made a loss of 5%. If you want to compare that with a benchmark, like the FTSE 100, click that and it will show you a comparison and it will show you the difference in the bottom panel compare my, my performance to the benchmark. Period analysis is useful as it shows you how many ups and downs on a daily basis. This data can be fully extracted to Excel which is useful if you want to work out the likes of maximum drawdown. To do that, on the red toolbar, click actions, generate report and if you just do current tab unformatted, what it will give you is all these bar charts in data format. Seasonal analysis, if your portfolio has been running for a number of years, you can kind of compare your portfolio per month, and that's again relative to the benchmark, or you can remove the benchmark and it will just show you absolute performance of your portfolio on a monthly basis. The statistical summary tab is very powerful. This gives you an overview of how your portfolio is done with all the typical return measures, risk measures and risk adjusted performance measures. This is compared to the benchmark. You can remove that and it will show you just your portfolio. Over here you can edit the time scale. You can even go to custom and change it to the last week or the last number of trading days, for instance. The final tab is the attribution tab, and this will show you where your performance has been driven from. The summary view is better for this, as it compares your portfolio versus the benchmark, and then shows the attribution based on sector allocation, stock selection, and currency if it's overseas. I'll just show you one last thing, for instance, if I was to pick the S&P 500 here, it will provide an error message. 
or it might not load. And this is because you may not have the license to see the sector breakdown for the S&P 500. If that's the case, in this case it's not going to load, I'd always recommend finding a benchmark or an ETF, such as this commonly used one here, SPYUS. If it's not there, go on the more sources and search for it. If you do that, press enter, then it will receive the attribution analysis compared to the S&P 500. Lastly, you have what's known as trade simulation in the red toolbar. This action can potentially optimize your portfolio by using a range of different goal seeking objectives and it is worth exploring to enhance your portfolio. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.